to Think Real Estate. I'm Shoda Young, and today I have a very special guest. He's from a company called Felthazen and Sun Inspection Services. And why them? They are honest, reliable, and professional. This is Devon Dupree. He has 16 years experience in construction. And after 16 years, he spent 13 years in carpentry and jointry, which makes him an expert with home inspection. He has three years experience in home inspection. They have their company running in both Johannesburg and Cape Town. So Devon, I'm going to give it over to you to introduce yourself. Hello. Good morning, Sean. Thank you for having me again. Uh, absolute blast to be here. And then, uh, let's see what happens. Ask away. Let's go for it. Well, I'm so excited to have this ex uh, conversation with you um, because home yeah. inspection is quite a quite a, a new, well, I'm not going to say new, but I think it's something that a lot of people don't really know much about. And I want to Absolutely. find out um, uh, before we get straight into it, I'm going to read a little portion that you sent through to me. It was a professional buyer that you sent. It says, the bulk protects buyers of pre-owned home as a seller of a property must declare all defects on their property before the sale. Previously, buyers had to accept defects discovered after signing the footstool clause. I want you just to give our audience a bit of detail on that particular um, statement that I just read. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, no, this new bowl is coming in, you know, it's changing everything, it's changing everything for the better. Uh, since 2012, 13 around there, uh, the food source clause, is, it's, it's null and void. The Consumer Protection Act came in and then they had this form that you had to fill in. But as I previously told you, you know, this form, it doesn't work out that well because all of a sudden, you know, you're giving this form to a doctor or a lawyer or somebody like that. And they're looking at this form, they're going, yeah. I, I think this, this mold looks okay, you know, I, I'm not sure, it, it looks fine to me, you know, and they look, they don't really want to climb into room cavities with their nice expensive suits, you know, they don't know if this is not really wiring, they don't understand that part of it. So that's why you get somebody like Feldes and Sons, you get Feldes and Sons to do a proper look at the property, you know, look at all the defects, look what's good, look what's bad, you know, and just... Be open about it. Be honest about it. And just help as many people as you can, as long as you can. And for those who don't know what footstuts means, I just yes. thought that you could elaborate a little bit on that, um, oh. just in case there is a few audiences out there that don't know about this clause footstuts. I know when I was doing my um, law, that was something we yeah. learned yeah. about often so if you could yeah. maybe just elaborate on that a bit all right so a food shift law is quite basically quite simple it is as is you know you buy it as is you know and the problem with buying something as is is that you're taking the word of somebody else you know it's like you're going out to buy a car you're going out to buy a car and they tell you don't worry everything is fine this car's never been in a car accident before the brakes are excellent you know then you're taking the word for it. You know, that's where the problem for food splits comes in. You know, that you buy something and you're not sure what it is that you are buying. You know, that, that's the problem with food splits. And that's why food splits has been out since 2012. You know, 2012, 2013, food splits has been absolutely out. Well, you know, Devon, I think that is a good summary of what it is. I, I wanted to know... Who pays for your inspections? Uh, as we previously discussed this one as well, uh, we like to get it that the seller does it. But we also like, because of our strict privacy clause, you know, if you hire us to do the inspection, you know, we give the inspection report only to you. So we like to market it in such a way that it's the seller is, bu is buying half of the report and the real estate agent is buying the other half of the report. So that way you don't feel like, oh, this is going to be bad. You know, this is going to be expensive beyond all measure and means. No, you do it 50-50, you know, and everybody goes, all right, I can live with 50% of this. You know, it's, it's a good medium to get there, you know, it's, because it does help the seller. And more than that, it helps the estate agent because now all of a sudden you've got this extra marketing tool. Now all of a sudden the buyer comes in. 
there it is. It's already on the table. All this is freshly minted, beautifully printed, right there on the table. So it helps both parties involved by getting a by getting an inspection before you put the house on the market. And that's a good thing, you know, that that's the way we'd like to market it. That's like when we get it out there. You know, that's that's news to me that you actually package it for a real estate agent and the seller. Um, I think yes. that's it's it's something I definitely didn't know that that was because I thought initially it was only the buyers that was going to go yeah. and take an inspector because they want to make sure and they were going to cover that cost. Yeah, no, that's absolutely, you know, that's the way it can happen. You know, the buyer can go, yeah, I, I need it. But like I just stated, you know, if you want to you know, get to the right foot, you know, and be open and be honest, you know, get it right. Market, you immediately go, all right. Paul Felders and Sons, he's coming out to do an inspection report for you, and then there it is. So as soon as the buyer walks in, he's not going, oh, yeah, I like this house, but is this roof leaking like a sip? You know, is, is it old school knob and tube wiring? What kind of mold is this? You know, and there's a little crack. Should I worry about this little crack? So all of a sudden, they walk in, you know, it's a good part of it. Yeah. You know, thank you for that detailed description. So I take it that a lot of landlords probably use you as well. Oh, yes. Uh, quite a few rental inspection reports. Uh, because you get property investors, they're up there, you know, they don't live in the property, they're up there. We do quite a few rental inspections that we do as well, you know, because we come in, you know, it's third party and it's unbiased, and we come in beforehand and we do the inspection report, and that inspection report then falls into a rental inspection, you know, so it's all of the same thing. So when the tenants move out in six months to a year, we go back and we just keep updating the files accordingly, you know, so there's no, there's no dishonesty, you know, there's, all right, this was the condition of the home, you know. There was a Bosch stove and all of a sudden there's a Defy stove kind of thing, you know, without the mission that change. So we do take a look at what is present at the moment of the inspection, but these issues, you know, what what needs to be fixed, you know, and if they move out, you know, we there it is, you know, we already have this report and we just go back and we just check off the boxes, you know, that, that's that's the other part of what it is that we do. So does that mean, Devon, that you give um certain investors, I would say, because landlords usually would have uh, several properties, investors, and maybe even agents, because if that's your target market, does that mean that when you get a consistent client that uses you consistently, that they get like a, a discount? Yes, absolutely, yes, yes. Uh, there are quite a few that we have like that. Uh, we, sign a, we sign a contract with them, and you know they, they pass certain X amount inspections our way, and we go, all right, because you are helping us, we are helping you guys, you know, and we have a few where we go, all right, we're going to charge you that bracket. You know, that bracket is between bedrooms at three to six or three to five, and it can have two to four bathrooms, but we're going to charge you X amount. We actually have that one where we kind of have buy five, get one free kind of thing, you know, so that's, that's the way we can help people. You know? That's the way we... You know, just, we want to help people. That's the biggest thing for us. You know, we want to help people and we want to help you make a more informed decision. You know, and that, that's the beautiful side to what it is that we do. And we love home inspections, you know. So the more, the merrier, you know. It's just, it's, yeah, just keep moving with it. Just keep going with it. So we absolutely have those deals are going on, you know, just to help. You know, that's the biggest thing. We have those deals yet to help. So with what I read previously, obviously basically stating that defects needs to be declared. I remember when we had a telephone conversation, you said to me, Shanice, there will be a time um, where they are going to incorporate a new law where yes. you have to declare. Can you just tell me yes. a little bit more about that and just let our uh, audience know? Yes. Absolutely. No, that, that's the new property practitioner's bill. It was signed into law last year, October 2nd, and it will be uh, reflected in the National Gazette the 1st of April this year. Very exciting times. So this bill is so long, you know, and we don't have this very little limited time and where I can actually talk about this, but the biggest change that's coming into this bill is all defects on a property has to be declared. That means everything has to be declared. 
So that's why you get home inspectors to come out and take a look. That, that's the other side. We are third party. We are unbiased. We are not related to any real estate. You know, we don't contract this. We, we're not that side of it. We're just third party and unbiased. But this bill is changing everything for the better because now real estate agents, they have to recommend. They have to tell the, the buyer, the seller, listen, yeah, this is, things are changing so fast. You are going to have to inspection report. You're going to have to do this. You know, so this bill is changing everything and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful because the, because the way things are changing out there, you know, especially in these COVID times that we are living in, we found that as home inspectors that it actually helped us do this much better because it's become so fundamental because now all of a sudden you get the buyer and he wants to come in and take a look at the property, but he's afraid to go. So you get us to come out and take a look for you. And, you know, now all of a sudden you can place that because you and the seller are 50, 50 into this thing. Now all of a sudden there it is, you know, on your website, there's the property, there's the home inspection report. So the buyer can go, all right, this place is beautiful. There's the report. You know, so that, mm. That's what's changing. You know, that's what's going beautiful with this. You know, that bowl is, oh, that beautiful, beautiful bowl. You know? So, you know, we're going to have to find out where we also have to uh, align with, you know, because we're not sure, you know, things, yeah, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, but we also, home inspectors are also going to have to sign up to the uh, property practitioners regulatory authority. Try saying that one five times fast. That's not easy, you know. But yeah, yeah, that that's it. You know, that the, the, the bill is coming. The bill is actually here yeah, already. So we did just giving people enough time to get their ducks in a row. You know, that, that's all it is. I, I said, think it's know, just very so important much, for people to know. It. Yes, no, absolutely. You know, but I said, you know, there's so much information crammed back into that thing. You know, just but the biggest thing is that the effects have to be declared. They have to be declared, and the bill is here. Those are two very, very big things. You know? and it's up to the estate agents to tell, tell them of the new laws, of the new regulations. You know? that, that's 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 a very, very, very big thing. You know? Well, you know, this is such a lovely conversation, and guys, I just wanted to remind you that I'm having a conversation with Devon Dupree, and he is from Feldhazen and Sun Inspections, where they are honest, reliable professionals. Um, I just yes. want to end this off with you, um, giving um, clients the six, I think we spoke about it, and you said you have six questions that you usually have yes. your clients answer. Oh, yes. So can you please um, inform our viewers out there what kind of questions they should be asking home inspectors? Absolutely. You know, this is these are the fundamental questions you have to ask this for every home inspector because, as you said, you know, this is quite new here in South Africa and people are freaking out a little bit about this. Home inspections are nothing to freak out about, you know, we just we're here to help. So the six questions you have to ask is uh, the first one, as always, is what are your qualifications? What are your credentials? You know, do you, do you know what you are doing? You know, that that's a very, very big one. You have to ask people, do they know what they're doing? You know, you have to ask that home inspector. Understand? I'm losing you, Devon. I, I think I'm not sure. I've lost you. Uh, but that's only visual because in Cape Town, you do need to get a COC for plumbing and a COC for electrical. Here in Gauteng, you just need a COC for electrical. They're still trying to figure out the plumbing part of it, but you got you got to understand what is covered and what's not covered, what we look at and what we don't look at, and what our limitations are. You know, our limitations are, this is, if we're going to a home, we only have a limited time span, so we're not going to be moving big cupboards. You know, we're not, if the room is full of moving boxes, you know, we won't be able to do that you know, because it's going to take us too long to go through this. So you, you got to understand what is covered and what is not covered. Um, then when you do finally get the report, you should know that you can contact us. You can contact Felders and Sons anytime after that and ask us, well, listen, I got this report. What does this mean? You know, is this, is this a major defect? Is this a minor defect? What does this mean? You know, you, you got to ask them, you know, what this what does this mean? That, that's another thing. You know. Question number four. Is, well, do you know somebody? You know? Do, you, do you know a plumber? Do you know an electrician? Because this is the industry that we are in. And we do recommend, you know, but we don't just go, yeah, you know, we kind of know this guy. No, 
we actually like to go out and take a look at their previous work before we before we recommend because you know it's not we like to help people again you know that that's the biggest thing for us we like to help people and that's it you know so we we like to recommend good guys you know, good guys we know is not going to screw people over so yeah and um and then uh, along with that you know you can also ask as well how long do you think this is going to last you know how much time frame is limited on this you know so, especially with groups you, know, you 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 can ask us things like that you know it's going to be a generalist view of it but you know, you, you can ask, ask us anything, you know, and uh, oh, this is always a big one, you know, this is, are there any drainage issues? This is, the, you got to ask them, you know, are there any drainage issues? Because you got to know, it's not just the gutters, you know, we've actually had problems in complex, went all the way down to this poor guy's garage, you know, and just, you, you got to understand, you, you got to know, all right, the drainage does shit, but I think we might have problems kind of solutions that we can follow so you gotta ask about drainage um I mean, this this is also a very big one is when you go into the property the first thing you always ask is the seller is what are your concerns what are your concerns regarding home inspection you know what are are there anything that i should know about you know and just just talk them through it you know talk them through the process you know and just well, you told me about this, you know, this is kind of a minor defect or when we might have a problem here. So you, you got to ask them questions that you do have to ask, you know, and you got to be open about it and be honest about it because that's that's what home inspection is, you know. It's, it's playing complete and utter honesty, you know. It's just, there it is, you know. There's the report, you know. It's, it's 30, 40 pages long, you know. It's quite extensive. There's pictures, there's descriptions, uh, we do have contractors that do work uh, not for us, but they do work the estimates out for cost of repairs. So yeah, that that's all in there. You know, it's a summary. You know, it's the cost of repairs and things like that. So by the time you do get the report, you can go. All right, I feel more free to make an offer. You know, I feel more happy to make an offer. There are so many things we can we have to cover. You know, we cannot do this in just this little bit of time. You know, there's more things to talk about. You know, in this. His previous experiences we had, you know, it's, yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful industry to be in right now, you know, like, like you said, you know, we've got the branch up here in Gauteng, you know, and all of a sudden we've got one down in Cape Town as well, you know, so it's growing, you know, it's growing leaps and bounds, you know, and it's because it's, it's, it's honesty, you know, that's the biggest thing, you know, it's absolute honesty that we are doing here. And I think the most important thing is that long term, you know, protects, it definitely protects your, your buyer yeah, and and I mean long term it just it also helps I think for so many things that I've seen before it also sort of helps the seller because yes. nobody's going to come back and say yeah but you did not say that so you didn't absolutely. declare that so I must I must say that this is quite an inter interesting yes, conversation no, to have and I I you know Devon we could go on forever but we're running out of time mm -hmm. so I don't know if you would want to come back to our platform absolutely. but I'd really like to chat to you a lot more All right, let me just quickly say this yeah, let me just quickly say this. Uh, the biggest thing that home inspection also does is it takes that he said, she said argument out of it, you know, between the seller and the buyer. And it's very cost effective to do this because now you spend a minimal amount on a home inspector or you can, you can spend thousands upon thousands on litigation of you said no, but you filled in that form, you know. So it's very cost effective to do this, you know, to get fathers and sons to come out, to just take a look for you, you know help you let's no, help you that's yeah you know help. the entire point is to help our individuals yeah, out absolutely there. help everybody involved make a more <laughs> informed decision you know, that's it. more informed decision well devon i hope to chat to you again that is it from belt hazen and sun inspections as i said they are honest reliable professionals we will be leaving their details in the comments um, so if you guys want to know more, please follow them. I'm going to put in their Facebook link, their LinkedIn. Um, is there anything else that I must say on your website? Your website, because yeah, I didn't check that out. <laughs> and I just want to thank you. So guys, that's it from us. Um, I hope okay. that this has helped educate you guys. Um, and hope hopefully it's built some kind of awareness for anyone who's looking to buy. And also those um, landlords who are looking for home inspectors that they would like to use continuously. So that's it from us. Bye. Bye, guys.